According to research at Cambridge University, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is that the first and last letter be at the right place. The rest can be a total mess and you can still read, read it without a problem. This is because the human mind does not read every letter by itself, but the word as a whole. A lot like a hitter looks at a pitch. With the same thing in mind, the, the human brain also fills in the blanks whenever it sees an inanimate object like this. Even without drawing anything in, the human mind sees faces. And the reason that we're hardwired like that, that when we're in, in nature and there's an animal within the foliage, we recognize that face because it's dangerous. So everywhere we see objects that look anywhere near a face, we're hardwired to actually turn that into a face, no matter how far away from reality that is. And no matter how crazy these eyes look, th this looks like a face because that's the way that our brain works. Now, the way it works in baseball is that this hitter sees a pitch. It's on the outside part of the plate. In his mind, it's going to be about 90 miles an hour. So he swings at it as though it's about 90 miles an hour. But it turns out to be about 93. And now, in reality, because of where it's located, it's actually about 96. So this is a complete and utter lie to this hitter. If we put the clock up here at release, we're at zero. And at a third of the way, about 0.13 seconds, this pitch, for all intents and purposes, is an outside fastball. But as soon as it starts to take its movement and move it back towards the middle of the plate, this 93 mile an hour pitch turns into 96. So it's a lie. Just like this pitch is a lie. This looks like an outside fastball also. So therefore it's going to be around 90 miles an hour. But instead, it starts to move and it's really only at 85. So it's really about 81 miles an hour of true speed. When we put these two together, we see that at a third of the way to the plate, these are both lying. They both look like 90 mile an hour fastballs. And then one moves in, gains speed effectively, and the other one moves away and loses speed effectively. So this is, this is the real life situation that happens. And the science behind it is pretty simple. We're, we're hardwired to look at things a certain way. So when we see three different pitches and the first one is a fastball and it's made us late because it, it has an effective velocity of 96, either we swung and missed or we fouled it back. And then we see another pitch that looks just like it and then moves to the inside part of the plate as a changeup but is only 80 miles an hour. We're fooled by that and we're fooled by it often because it looks like the same pitch at a third of the way to the plate. And the same thing happens on this slider idea. This one would have been a slider at about 88. Middle away would have ended up being 86. Our example was an 85 slider that ended up in this area out of that same tunnel. So it would have ended up being about an, uh, an 81 mile an hour pitch. So this triangle that he's created is extremely deceptive because our brain wants to read all of these the same. 